Hey folks, it's Bob from Mountain Crest Farm. Oh me, I'm liking this. This is a couple or two or three in a row outside. Pretty sunshiny day and a blue sky with poofy white clouds. A little bit breezy, but it's a nice day and I'm glad it's weather's gotten where I can do these outside. And today I want to discuss something that's been on every social media platform in the world for the last few weeks. We've all been looking for some items and they're hard to find, just perfectly normal everyday stuff in the store. And we hadn't been able to find it. Well, this is sort of a how-to. I'll show you what I found and then uh, show you how I found it because some of the stuff you have to look in some odd places, out of the way places, places you wouldn't think of to get something. So let's take a look at just what I found and I'll tell y'all how you can track it down when it's not in the obvious spots. Well, let's see. Let's start off Nitrile gloves, or latex gloves, everybody using nitrile now. These things have gotten really hard to find. You look all over and you go to the pharmacy section of Walmart, or you go to Walgreens, all those places where you figure you can find sterile nitrile gloves. Well, don't look in the normal places. For one thing, when you find sterile nitrile gloves, medical grade nitrile gloves, whatever you want to call them, they're going to cost you 15 times what they should cost. Um, I saw before all this virus junk got everything hard to find, normal price for 25 nitrile gloves in the pharmacy section at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken right, was about 10 bucks, 10 or 12 dollars. Well, I got these at Walmart yesterday. But they're not medical grade, but there's no difference. A nitrile glove is a nitrile glove is a nitrile glove. Sometimes they'll have a little bit difference in thickness. And this one actually doesn't say what the thickness is. But other than that, these are no different than the medical grade nitrile gloves. I would be willing to bet you that these gloves, these gloves right here, these nitrile gloves, I would be willing to bet you these come down the same production line as the stuff that's packaged fewer to the pack and are considered medical grade. I'll bet you the only difference in the glove is when it comes to packaging. These aren't medical, so they're not packaged like medical. So what? The stuff we're looking for gloves for doesn't have to be medical grade. None of us are fixing to operate on our pet on the dining room table. We don't need sterile gloves. We need stuff to keep germs off our hands. This will do it. How do you find this? Because like I say, you go to Walgreens or you go to CVS Pharmacy or you go to the uh, pharmacy section of Walmart. It's not there even if you didn't mind paying the price. Well, I got these at Walmart. And there's a hundred in here. 100 gloves in here, not 25 like the medical pack. And I got them at Walmart. You know where I got them? In the paint section. Look right. Let me see if I can get this. Look at the name on there. Uh, I don't know if it'll... Firm Grip Paint Gloves. Firm Grip Pro Paint. There to where when you're painting your house so you don't have so much trouble cleaning up your hands. These are at Walmart and they've been at Walmart the whole time. If you can't find them at Walmart, if you can't find paint gloves at Walmart, let me tell you another place to go. When you want gloves, when you want nitro gloves, go to your local auto parts store. Mechanics buy these all the time. 
they wear them when they're working on a car so they don't have so much trouble getting their hands clean when they're done. Peel off the gloves and throw them away instead of spending 20 minutes trying to get all the grease out from under their fingernails. I've been buying nitrile gloves at auto parts stores for years. Now, the only thing is, these are nice pretty blue, paint gloves I guess come in blue. Usually the medical grade will be white, although I have seen them in different colors. Uh, when you go to the auto parts store, depending on what brand you get, um, seems like the predominant color is black. Who cares? They're nitrile gloves. They'll keep the bugs off your hands if you want to wear gloves when you go shopping or when you're putting your groceries away when you get home from shopping. A nitrile glove is a nitrile glove is a nitrile glove and who cares what the color is. Okay, so that takes care of gloves. What else did I find? Yeah, let's see. Oh. The notoriously missing toilet paper. Wow. 12 rolls of toilet paper. And as you can tell by the brand, it's Walmart. Great value. It's not the brand we usually use around here. And it's only 12 mega rolls, which is supposed to be, what, 48 regular rolls? I don't believe it. We usually buy the Scott 48 rolls to the pack. Big old bundle. With toilet paper short, who cares? Walked in Walmart. They had two of these left on the shelf. Snagged one of them. You can find toilet paper. It is making a comeback. Hmm. Must be pretty popular stuff. Oh, I heard a good one the other day. Do you know why toilet paper? Because I couldn't figure it out. What are people doing with all this toilet paper? I mean, they buy enough toilet paper for the next 37 years. Well, I saw a logical reason for all the toilet paper that's being sold. With all this, everything shut down, restaurants shut down and everything, people are going through a lot of toilet paper because for the first time in their life, they're having to eat their own cooking and it ain't going well. That's why all the toilet paper's out there. <laughs> but anyway, toilet paper's starting to make a comeback. It, the local Walmart store gets a truck every day and every truckload has toilet paper on it. It's still disappearing pretty quick, but I picked up this, there was this one and another one left, and it was about five hours after the truck had been unloaded and the toilet paper put out on the shelves. So they had gotten in a pretty good bit. So toilet paper is making a comeback. But if you go in Walmart and you can't find toilet paper where the toilet paper is supposed to be, let me tell you another place. Go over to the recreational vehicle section, which is usually over there somewhere around tools and paint and motor oil, sporting goods, it's over in that corner of the store. Go over there because recreational vehicles, campers, rec motor homes, there's special toilet paper made for them so it won't, won't clog up their system. It's usually Scott brand, although there is some that is called Campmore, C-A-M-P-M-O-R. Campmore makes everything in the world for RVs. Um, there's usually toilet paper for RVs over there. They're usually not in big packs because there's not a lot of storage room in an RV. They're usually packs of six. I don't think I've ever seen a pack of 12. But six rolls is better than not having toilet paper and having to hunt for an old Sears Roebuck catalog. So check out the um, RV section of Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. They've all got an RV section. And all of them are now selling toilet paper regularly, but Home Depot and uh, um, Lowe's, you wouldn't even think of having a camping section, but it does. And there's, besides where they normally sell toilet paper and paper towels, you'll usually find the toilet paper in the RV section if you can't find it anywhere else. Um, also, I'll tell you somebody who Ran out later than anybody else around here because nobody thought to look because people have their nose up near and too good to shop someplace like Dollar Tree or Dollar General. But the Dollar General stores around here, 
it took them longer to run out than any other place and they're getting restocked faster than any other place so try your dollar generals um, this next item paper towels again not the brand we usually use we don't buy bounty but uh, and we always buy those that have the half sheet you know you can get a full width sheet of paper towels or you can get a half sheet these aren't that but this is better than nothing and it's a six pack and we usually get 24 and I forget what brand we usually get but it's better than nothing these are paper towels these were at Walgreens yesterday went in Walgreens for something else there were paper towels in there there was also some toilet paper uh, I think Cindy Cindy was the one that went in Walgreens. I think she picked up a six pack that was in there of toilet paper. We we weren't low, but just picked up one more just in case this lasts longer than I think it's going to. But paper towels are making a comeback. What else have we got? Oh, if you're Taking temperatures every day, like we do around here. It's not that we're normally this paranoid, but uh, with Cindy and Sarah both working out in the public and my health issues, which includes a severely compromised immune system, we're being pretty careful around here. Temperatures are ta getting taken every other day, or I mean t several times a day. and. Uh, We've got a couple of health supplements that we're taking. I don't know if they're doing any good, but they can't hurt. Um, got three people using one thermometer. It needs to be clean, needs to be sterile every time you stick it in your mouth. It'd be terrible if we were checking temperatures so that Cindy and Sarah don't give me the uh, COVID and then I get it from them because I stuck a thermometer in my mouth that wasn't properly cleaned. Well, you hadn't been able to find alcohol, rubbing alcohol, for a while. And when you did see one, it, about all it was good for was sterilizing because it was 70% alcohol. 70% will sterilize thermometers and things like that. But I do some other things with alcohol that 70% won't get it. I always like to have 91%. Well, look what was on the truck at Walmart yesterday. Can you read it? Let's see. Yeah, can you right there. Can you see that? 91%. It's starting to make a comeback. It was on the truck that ran at 2 o'clock yesterday. This was still on the shelf at 6 o'clock, just a little bit before they closed. So alcohol is making a comeback. So all those things that for the last few weeks have been hard to find are slowly making their way back in. You gotta hunt for them. Don't look in the normal places. Look When you look in the normal store like Walmart, also look in a weird place in the store, like over in the paint section for the gloves, over in the camping section for the toilet, uh, the RV section for the toilet paper. Um, same if you go looking at Home Depot. Home Depot's selling gloves. I mean, Home Depot is selling uh, toilet paper and paper towels now and if you don't find it in the regular section go to the RV section dollar stores whether it's Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar dollar stores are the last place that people go for that that's where pe people don't go there when they're thinking I need to get stuff they, th they go there when it's 15 minutes before they're going to start dinner and they're thinking I need this, this one thing or that one thing. Well, they sell the other stuff too. And they're the last places that run out of toilet paper and paper towels and alcohol. Um, some of the stuff like alcohol, they're slow to stock back. Toilet paper and paper towels are always getting them in. You just got to be there at the right time. Uh, and the gloves. Don't go where you normally go. Go to the paint section if you're in Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot. Or just stop in at your local auto parts store when you're driving by. You'll probably pick up a box of 100 gloves pretty cheap. These, 
I think were fourteen dollars at Walmart and normally when I buy them at the auto parts store I get a hundred for twelve bucks so the stuff is making a comeback it's out there you just have to look a little bit to find it so I hope y'all found that useful information after all this channel is supposed to be two things it's supposed to be entertaining and informative well talking about toilet paper and paper towels and Walmart and auto parts stores is not very entertaining but I hope you found it informative if you like my video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down but tell me why down there so I can make it better and look around you might like the channel if you like the channel smash that subscribe button and ring that little bell next to it so you'll get notifications when I do another video until then I hope you all have an absolutely awesome awesome day and awesome days awesome weeks awesome months awesome years an awesome life isn't easy but it's real simple and this is the week to especially remember how simple it is because all you have to do to have that awesome life is to remember that the tomb was empty and that he is alive now I will see y'all in the next video go have a great day because I'm going to